Hi, this is Mio here. Today we are going to talk about the interface of the App Editor Manager and Entry Client. First, let's take a look at App, App Editor Manager. So App, App Editor presents a unique way of uh, data collection and data entry. So when you open the App Editor Manager, you will see this uh, this menu bar and the blank uh, the blank white board here okay so let's take a look at uh, this button so this button is called a uh, work process toolbar uh, it's like a process and a flow of a it is a workflow starting from creating a project uh, and end with the data export so it is a nice flow so first you create either create a new project or you open an existing project and then you uh, you put, uh, you add or edit uh, project details, and you look at that if you have any. Then you document whatever your project is available, and then you enter your data. So if you, if you have that data, if you are data in your project, then the final step would be exporting your data to file processing, like data analysis. Okay, so this is called a work process toolbar. And addition, if you click on this select project, you can either create new project or open uh, existing project. Okay, and these two button, uh, project details and data set, they will appear, or they will be enabled. They will be able uh, only if the project is loaded. Okay, then you can look at the document. You can report structure. Uh, based on the structure, you have different reports. You can look at the project overview. Uh, you can extract the question list, extended list, value label list, admin overview, log overview, and COBOL. And essentially, if you have multiple files uh, of data entry of the same data set, then you can compare duplicate files. You can count records by ID which is a nice way to identify duplicated uh, records. And you can also uh, validate the data content. OK, and then you, you can enter the data here. So if you click this uh, button, it will take you to the app data entry client. OK, we will close this for the moment. And then for the export, um, you can choose a file and then you can um, you can set several options to export it. So this is called a work process toolbar. And then let's look at this uh, menu. This is called drop down menu because it is a drop down. Okay, so when you click it, it uh, a list of uh, menu where <laughs> drop down. Okay, so the, the some menus are overlap between drop down menu and the work process toolbar. Okay, so as you can see that we also have new project and open project here. Uh, essentially, we can open both uh, files into App Data Manager and we can exist using this. Uh, and we can use the shortcut Auto F4. And the second menu edit, uh, you can go to the preferences. Uh, so this is a nice way of uh, setting, customizing your app data manager. Uh, we will talk about it in later videos. Okay, and then you can set a default window position. And one of the, I mean, prominent feature in app data manager is you can set uh, multiple user username and password, which is called extended access. And then you can look at their log overview, and you can manage their their user group. Uh, Privilege and administration. Okay, so this is a nice uh, feature of App Data Manager if you ever use it. And then the next one is document. Uh, you can document several things like we have seen in this uh, document button in the work process toolbar. So the same, the same meaning. And then tool. Okay, so here we have a prepared data double entry, which we will. Which we will make a topic uh, 
separate topic we'll look at the debit data entry and validation okay so this is how you prepare debit entry which is basically separate the same fine structure and enter the same data twice by a different person and then uh, compare the data content and validate the result okay so this is a uh, nice way of this uh, this affected way probably not the best way but it is the most affected way to avoid a data entry error and then you can as you can see on the what process do where here also export function uh, you can pack data files uh, which is basically making it uh, solidifying and we'll talk about more in later video and we can manage value levels from data we can append the data set into the current and uh, current data file okay so this is how you append it here and you can create archive which is basically a zip file and which use a different algorithm so it, it, it is it is relatively difficult to extract the data if you use other software so you can you have to use every data to extract the archive and then you enter the data so help is a nice one check it out and then the last one is about so click it and then you can see that there are several versions and then the platform information on this one Okay, so let's close this. Okay, so this is um, the interface of Data Manager, and let's see the Data Entry client. So as you can see, that it is only for data collection. So there are not uh, there are not a lot of information on the functions um, for data data entry. Okay, so you can either open project that's it and for the drop down menu you can only open projects and exit and then for edit uh, the same one you can set preferences for the uh, this is the preferences for the ability to entry client that's it so there are not a lot of functions for entry client so you just you know get right into data entry right away Okay, so this is a nice, uh, this is a nice way of uh, presenting data collection and entry um, work process. Because um, if you're working as a, a data manager, then you you should have both an API data manager and entry client, and then create projects and many manage projects, user password, etc. But if you want to distribute this to your data staff uh, who will only enter the data, so they don't need to manage it. So it's a nice way to separate between the managing process and the entry, entering process, entry process. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, see you next time. Huh?